G'day guys, Jake here with you. Today I'm going to be talking about Remote Desktop which is also referred to as RDP. Now what RDP is used for is basically to get a remote session, a remote graphical session, so it's not just a text based session but it's a graphical. So you get your full desktop and everything onto another computer or into a server. Now this is a Microsoft proprietary protocol so it's built into Windows and it's free besides the Windows licensing costs or Windows Server licensing costs. Now Remote Desktop allows you to remote into any Windows Professional or Windows Server computer as long as you, if you're from external you're going to need to configure port forwarding and stuff like that. They've also released official, so Microsoft have released official um, applications for Mac OS X, whatever version you're using, Android, iOS, Windows Phone, and also Windows RT or Windows or whatever they're calling it nowadays. So it's basically just a thing so you can administer your servers or your computers remotely. Now remote desktop is used for that. And yeah, so basically what I'm going to show you today is how to enable remote desktop and also how to remote into a computer. So let me switch screens and I'll just get to it. So here I am in a virtual machine. What you want to do is right click on my computer and go to properties and then hit system information. Up here there's a remote tab. So you'll see there you want to allow remote connections and if you're only going to access it from newer Windows computers, you can use the other one, but I'm not, so I'm using the less secure one. Hit OK. So then you also need to have a password on your user account to allow remote connections into your computer. And to do that, just go into Control Panel, look up Users, hit User Accounts, and under here there'll be Add a Password. So then just add in whatever password you want. If you've already got a password, it's fine. So do that, give it a hint, just like whatever. And then hit Create Password. And then you will be ready to use Remote Desktop into your computer. Remember, you have to have a Windows Pro computer to do this or a Windows Server. So what you'll need to do is find the IP configuration of it. There's the IP, and that's what we're going to use to access the computer. So now I'm on another computer in my network. From here I want to open up Remote Desktop Connection. And in here you need to type in your IP address of the remote computer you're connecting to. Hit connect. Username and password. So I'll just chuck in the password. And then hit OK. Yes to connect. And now we're in. And as you see that's the same session that we just had up with the same IP address. And that's basically how remote desktop connection works. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos. Check out my website, here's jaken.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.